Hello students, how are you? My name is Jahiruddin and welcome to the Jahir Sas Math class. Today we are going to discuss one more important theorem which is converse of Pythagoras theorem. Now what is converse of Pythagoras theorem? In a triangle if one square of one side is equal to the sum of the squares of other two sides then the angle which is opposite to the first side is a right angle and uh, if one angle is right angle then that triangle is right angle triangle this one once uh, read this one in a triangle if square of one side is equal to the sum of the squares of other two sides then you should write then here then the angle opposite to the first side is a right angle means here what given first we will write given what given triangle ABC given we do not know it is right angle or not. So, here sorry A B C A C square A C square means one square, side square is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides means A B square plus B C square this one given what we are going to prove here required to prove R T P required to prove what we are going to prove here this one is right angle means first angle opposite to the first side means A C A C opposite to the A C is B. So, here we are going to prove angle B is a right angle or angle B is equal to 90 degrees this one we are going to prove here. So, for this we need some construction. So, construction what is that construction? We are going to draw a right triangle draw a right triangle P Q R we are going to draw one right triangle which is P Q and R whose sorry P Q R here R P Q R whose angle Q is equal to 90 degrees or at angle D uh, angle Q is equal to 90 degrees and the sides which are P Q is equal to A B and uh, P Q is equal to A B Q R is equal to B C. by using this one we are going to uh, we are construction one triangle here. Now, in these two triangles now proof we drawn here right angle triangle P Q R this means this one is P Q R this one already we know 90 degrees why because by the construction. So, angle Q from triangle PQR by the Pythagoras theorem by Pythagoras theorem what we, uh, we write here hypotenuse square means PQ, uh, PR square is equal to PQ square plus QR square. P R square is equal to P Q square plus Q R square ok by the Pythagoras theorem, but we taken here P Q is equal to A B Q R is equal to B C. So, substitute in this P R square is equal to in P Q P Q plus A B means A B square 
plus QR plus BC, so BC square from construction. But AB square plus BC square, it is given AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. So that but AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. This one is given in the question, means given in the statement. So, from this by observing these two, what we are going to write? This one is equation 1, this is equation 2. From 1 and 2, we get what we get here? B C B C equal A B A B equal. So, this also equal P R is equal to A C. P R is equal to A C. Now, in these two triangles, in these two triangles, in triangle A B C and uh, triangle P Q R. In these two triangles from the construction two sides are equal means P Q is equal to A B, Q R is equal to B C and uh, here proof P R is equal to A C means this third side also equal. Then three sides are equal in these two triangles means corresponding sides are equal here. So, from side 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 congruency by this congruency rule these two triangles are congruent. Why? Because AB is equal to PQ, BC is equal to QR and AC is equal to PR mean three sides of this triangle equal to the corresponding sides of that PQR triangle. So, from S S S congruency triangle A B C is congruent to triangle P Q R. These two triangles are congruent what it means all the remaining corresponding parts also equal means here we took angle Q 90 degrees here in this q 90 degrees what is the corresponding part in this triangle angle b so that angle q is equal to angle b cp ct corresponding parts of congruent triangle means angle b also 90 degrees if you angle 90 degrees so the triangle abc is right angle triangle so hence triangle ABC is right triangle, hence proved. This is the proof of converse of Pythagoras theorem. I hope you understood, please. If you understood, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.